ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I want to come out here and talk about the whole Almighty J situation. So if you guys don't know, Almighty J was a little young boy that Black China was messing with. So over the weekend, he got jumped really badly in New York. Supposedly, he was flossing his jewelry, bragging about his chain, and some goons caught him slipping, and they proceeded to jump him. And then on top of that, he released pictures of him in the hospital. They had also cut his face with a Hennessy bottle. So these videos are really disturbing, and so is this picture. I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Niggas is nine deep, homie. The niggas is nine ten deep. Nine ten deep. Y and B, low TJ back there, pussy. He not doing enough for his Mexican man. I'ma give it to him when I catch him again. When I catch the Mexican nigga again, I'ma give it to him. When I catch the Mexican nigga again, I'm gonna give it to him. Word to my mother. Lil TJ, when I catch you again, I'ma give it to you. The almighty J, nigga, you soft. Nigga, you in the back, you not doing nothing. I'ma kill you when I see you, nigga. Word to my mother, y'all niggas is pussy, nigga. I you pussy, YBA. You pussy, nigga, on my mother, nigga. Don't ever try to pull up on the, you know, fucking elevator, nigga. You drunk? Nigga, everything for business. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up, nigga. Mm, nigga. Right, nigga, what's up? What's up? Let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. That's the YBA, nigga. Take his chair. Take his chair. Take his chair. All right, so you guys just saw the videos. You guys just saw the pictures as well. So after that went viral, Jay Prince from Houston, Texas, who's like the godfather down there, honey, he's the same one who stopped the whole Drake and um, Pusha T beef when they were going back and forth on wax. Well, now he sent out a call to a bunch of New York rappers and entertainers to basically look out for some guy named Zay and get Almighty's chain back. And, you know, basically he greenlighted this dude, Zay, who allegedly is the one who jumped Almighty Jay, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Jay Prince wrote, go ahead and check this out. So Jay Prince takes to Instagram and he says, mob ties calls to my real street niggas around the world, but especially on the East Coast in the Bronx. There's a clown by the name of Zay and his crew who want to be famous by bragging about robbing rap industry niggas. They recently bragged about robbing the artist YBN Almighty J, whom I'm invested in. They robbed him of his money and jewelry, including a rap a lot piece. So therefore, they have robbed a piece of me. Then he goes on to tag Cardi B, Remy Ma, Fat Joe, Swiss Beats, A Boogie with the Hoodie, Corey Guns, My Son the General, Fred the Godson's Music, O U N P one five two three, Artist H B T L. All right, so he tagged a bunch of people in New York. So a lot of people were trying to figure out, you know, who's going to do something. Will Fat Joe do something? Will my son? And two of the guys that he tagged are now speaking out, and they're not willing to help Jay, okay? They're like, you need to go elsewhere. You're being a bit messy, and you're being a little bit chatty patty, sir, okay? So they're not willing to help him. But what's even more disturbing is that the young boy, Zay, and his crew, they obviously don't fear nothing. They're basically going off on Jay Prince and basically telling him he's not going to do shit. And they're not giving him back his chain. So this entire situation is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what both of these two rappers had to say back to Jay Prince. The ones who said that they're not willing to get involved. And I definitely see their side. And then I'm going to show you guys the videos of the young boys basically saying, you know, Jay Prince ain't going to do shit. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So this is what my son the general wrote so my son says first of all i want to state that i don't condone this type of juvenile behavior neither i or anyone affiliated with me conducts themselves in this manner with that being said i respect at j prince respect for what you've done for the culture and the way you've been a one from day one but i myself would have conducted myself in a manner which demands a certain level of respect and consideration and the message you relayed on your instagram post was inappropriate had you or a mutual friend or acquaintances of ours reached out to me through dm or the phone i would have seen fit to reach out to anyone needed to right this wrong on the premises of mutual respect and admiration but as a result of this message, I have cowards on my page telling me I better get the chain back, etc. The way your message was delivered can be interpreted as more of a threat 
than a, than a call to allies to resolve a potential catastrophic situation. These are the kids who are not in my direct circle, and your message puts me and what I represent in jeopardy. I want to believe that you meant it all in love and respect, King, but unfortunately, social media was not the correct place to seek a solution to this problem. But on the contrary, but on the contrary, it may have done more harm. Please, King, utilize your DM or use our mutual friends to connect with me. Let's attempt to unite and fix a miscommunication. Respectfully, my son. So that is what my son had to say about the situation. He definitely was not feeling it. So there's another man that uh, Jay Prince tagged. And his name, he goes by Hassan Hocus 45th Harris. And he responded as well. So this is what he had to say. So Hocus 45th says... First, I want to start by saying I respect everything you did for the culture and I respect you as a godfather of hip hop and of the streets at J Prince Respect. Your name has been A1 in these streets and I tip my hat to you for that. But since you said to ignore this is a recipe for disaster and I was tagged in your post, I have to tell you that I'm sex money murder, my nigga, and we don't give it up like this. I don't do this internet shit. My brothers blew trial in the feds because they used our music and social media. I beat trial facing life in prison. I don't know who told you to tag me, but I'm a street nigga for real. Had you hit me up personally through DM or by other means privately, I would have made some calls to see what I could do because I respect you as a real OG. But you went to social media, even said the person's name, who allegedly robbed him. I don't want my name publicly attached to a public robbery. The feds have my picture at the top of the pyramid on a blackboard, my nigga. The Bronx is my hometown, and my hometown has been good to me. You really expect us to just flip on our borough? Niggas get robbed every day, B. I respect your shit, but your approach wasn't right on this, OG. To all the youth out there, stop recording yourselves doing shit like this. This social media shit will bring you down. They are using this against us in the court of law. Take it from somebody who's been there. I was fortunate enough to beat trial, but not everybody gets that lucky. Hashtag I'm from Castle Hill. Hashtag I'm from Soundview. Hashtag Hocus45. Hashtag BX Burrow at J Prince Jr. We respect y'all, but this wasn't right. Honey, I'm so glad they said something. And I agree with Hocus 45th 100%. I also agree with my son, the general. This was not the right way to go about this. And I was really shocked when I seen this. I'm like, hold up, is that J Prince Sr. or is that J Prince Jr.? Like, OG, you are way too old to be on social media, basically green lighting, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of grown adults to go after some damn kids for a chain, and then you're adding people, you're making it public. I did not expect Jay Prince to move this way. I was very, very surprised when I seen it. I understand why he's doing it. And like I said on my Instagram page, what happened to Almighty Jay, regardless if you like him or not, regardless if his overbite gets on your nerves, that was not okay. For him to be robbed, for him to be beaten like that, that's very scary. I saw people initially making fun of him, talking about he's a punk for running. Thank God he did run. That young boy now has to wear a damn scar on his face for the rest of his damn life. It's never that damn serious. Imagine if he didn't get up and run, they might have stabbed him to death. And over what, some money and some damn ice? And then you got these kids posting on social media, bragging about it like the damn police ain't watching? It's not going nowhere. This in New York. This shit staying in New York. This ain't paying homage, you He got to check him with some real gangsters, nigga. Damn. Hey, come and pay homage. Checking with some real gangsters. Tell academics suck my dick, nigga. Uh -huh. yeah. Add the artist. Add our artist. Nigga, Bango Mighty on YouTube. Add the artist, nigga. Yeah. Fucking the fuck out, nigga. Yo, Jay Prince is coming. Tell Jay Prince suck my dick, nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. Too, Eat it up, nigga. What Jay Prince is doing back in the day, we doing this today money, nigga. This today's money, nigga. What we say to like Jay Prince? Eat up, up. Mind. We ain't gonna play with him, him, Yo, he's not gonna play with you guys. We ain't gonna play with him. That's really his chain. Yeah, you see it. As long as he texts it, he go. You gotta get that chain back, you hear me? Listen, I'm seeing now this shit just laid his hands, you feel me? It laid in the right hands though. We trying to get I ain't gonna lie, we trying to get it we trying to get it back to the belonger. Contacted some way, somehow, black China. Black China says she got $20,000 for the chain. 
I told her, you can have this shit. It's not worth no 20. She's on some, like, it's, it's besides the point. I got problems with him. I'm the one that bought him this chain, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. So honestly speaking, this chain is going back to Black China. We already set up the date and everything. Black China, a good girl. Now, whether she going to give the chain back to him or not, Black China going to have a chain. Damn, Black China's getting that chain. Yeah, Black China's getting the chain. I ain't going to lie. For how much? How much bread? Black China, a 20 ball. She paying 20000 She paying twenty because she said it's the principal. Yeah, Jay Prince ain't going to play, man. Yeah, what Jay Prince going to do to Black China, though? Come on, man. He's going to get but, the chain back off of her. Nah, she, he can't. Did, you know this? Why YBN didn't do the um didn't do the claim yet? Because YBN the chain is not under his name. It's under China's name, like the insurance. It's uh, under China name. What? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. This is the craziest mail ever. Like, I mean, some of these kids, they're, they're so involved in social media, they think that social media is a whole nother world. A social media is nothing more than an extension of the real world. And I've been preaching that on my channel since day one. The things that you post on social media, the things that you say on social media can definitely come back to haunt you and they can use it in the court of law, okay? And this is what Hocus was saying. That if it was not for his social media, his brothers wouldn't be locked up right now. He was lucky enough to get out his jam, but everybody's not so lucky. So when you sit there and you put a green light on social media and you tell these people to make a move, then of course the police are watching. The police you know, are watching everything people post. The police are gonna watch these guys to see if they pull a move. If something happens to that young man Zay, all these people who were tagged could be potentially blamed. Because they could say, well, maybe Fat Joe's the one who sent out the hit on Zay. Maybe it was Cardi B. Maybe it was my son. So I respect my son. I respect Hocus, you know what I'm saying, for basically distancing themselves and saying, no, OG, this wasn't the right way. Had you DM me, had you, you know, had somebody reach out to me, we could have basically resolved this situation. But I don't want to get involved in this because I have a brand. I have a legacy. I have a family. I'm not trying to get locked up behind almighty Jay's shit. You know, I think once you get to a certain level, you definitely have to move differently. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these young rappers, they need to stop going to other people's hoods, going on social media, bragging about stuff, talking about, you know, how poor people are, but then how rich they are. You can't taunt the wolves and then get upset at how the wolves react. Now, what the wolves did was all the way wrong, all the way out of pocket, uncalled for, and they all need to be in damn jail and locked up. But again, you don't dangle steak in front of no tiger and then expect them not to pounce. And that's the problem. These kids are so busy showing out and showing off jewelry and, you know, high signing all over social media. If you can afford all this ice, if you can afford all this damn jewelry, where the fuck is your security? That's the part I don't understand. Where's your security? The same thing with XXX. You riding around with all this money and jewelry, where's your security? Once you get to a certain level and you're that big, especially when you're in the hip-hop game and your job is to brag about, you know, all your riches and wealth and cars and bitches and all that stuff, you better damn sure put aside some money for some real security. And that's just the truth of the matter. But this entire situation is just disgusting and uncalled for. You know, and I understand what Jay Prince is trying to do, but I definitely agree with the other two gentlemen. Mr. Prince, OG Prince, he definitely went about it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? We talk about all these kids putting everything on social media and looking for social media clout and validation. And unfortunately, that's what Jay Prince came off like. He came off like one of these kids, you know what I'm saying, looking for clout and validation, trying to add everybody's name and hashtag this and hashtag that. When as a grown adult, you know what I'm saying, you're not of this generation. You could have easily just picked up the phone. You could have easily text. You could have easily contacted somebody who knew these brothers as opposed to putting all this stuff on social media. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this entire crazy situation concerning Almighty J, 
my son, the general, Hocus 45, and, you know, other people saying that this was not the right move for Jay Prince to come out and call people out and ask them to green light against Zay. And then how do you guys feel about these guys who jumped on Mighty J? And how do you guys feel about them, you know, basically still online bragging, you know, still online talking shit? And do you agree with me that some of these rappers need to stop bragging about everything they have in other people's hoods, meanwhile not using some of that money to hire security? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.